Amir Brigadier General Alariza Sabahi Fard, the commander of the Air Defense Force of the Iranian Army, said today about the advanced and high quality of Iran's military equipment. The equipment of the Islamic Republic of Iran's armed forces are considered to be among the best defense gear and the most up-to-date in the world. Brigadier General Sabahi Fard warned Iran's enemies not to think of attacking Iran because Iran's response would be decisive. The enemies know very well that the Air Defense Force of the Islamic Republic of Iran has powerful systems and we are ready to face any threat. The commander of Iran's Air Defense Force, who had an interview with an army-affiliated media, once again mentioned the capabilities of Iran's drones and said that the uncrewed planes of the armed forces of the Islamic Republic of Iran are considered to be among the best and most efficient drones in the world and can carry out missions in various fields. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army will continue to expand its drone and military warfare achievements in order to match future deterrence needs, says a top commander of the army. Rear Admiral Habibullah Sayari, the deputy chief of the Iranian Army for Coordination, said on Wednesday that the army stands ready to carry out assigned missions with its specialized manpower and indigenous equipment. Today, we have secured invaluable achievements in the Islamic Republic of Iran Army in the fields of drone, electronic warfare, cyberspace and other new technologies he said, vowing relentless endeavors to reinforce and expand those achievements. He further noted that keeping up the army's combat readiness is necessary to reach deterrence power, which will in turn lead to military might. We must definitely keep ourselves ready for the future he said. What we have today does not meet the needs of the future, and we must meet our own needs with regard to the future. Iranian military experts and technicians have in recent years made substantial headway in manufacturing a broad range of indigenous equipment, making the armed forces self-sufficient. Homegrown Iranian military products have also found many clients in the world. Iranian officials have repeatedly warned that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, which are entirely meant for defense. Iran's drone capabilities are nothing new. Over the last decade, Iran, thanks to its native scientists, has succeeded in developing a full range of combat, reconnaissance, and surveillance drones. The latest major achievement in this regard was unveiled earlier this month when the Iranian Army's Navy inaugurated Iran's first drone carrier. Which included a variety of modern and advanced types of drones, all produced and manufactured by Iranian experts in the Army and the Ministry of Defense. Officials have highlighted the progress Iran has made in developing drones, which have increased Iran's power exponentially. Two weeks ago, a lawmaker said Iran's drone capabilities have increased the strength of Iran and the resistance axis. Merdit Vez Karami told Iran's state news agency Erna that the Axis is now enjoying drone and missile power. Referring to the drone and missile power of the resistance front in Palestine and Lebanon's Hezbollah. He said in the past the Zionist regime used to respond to the firing of a single Kalashnikov bullet with an F-16 aircraft, but now we see it is in a weak position. Iran's drones also strengthened its security. 
On Sunday, a senior lawmaker said Iran's drone capabilities ensure security at a time when military tools are determining things. Today is not only the age of dialogue, but also the age of missiles, and the power of the Islamic Republic's missile drones guarantees the country's security the lawmaker, Ali Reza Salimi, who is a member of the Iranian parliament's presiding board, said, according to Erna. With Iran's drones assuming a high position in the country's defense strategy, the West moved to portray them as a threat. The first step in this regard was taken by U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, who alleged that Iran was mulling supplying Russia with drones amid the ongoing war in Ukraine. Our information indicates that the Iranian government is preparing to provide Russia with up to several hundred unmanned aerial vehicles, including weapons capable of on an expedited timeline Sullivan claimed. It's unclear whether Iran has delivered any of these UAVs to Russia already. A wave of Western propaganda ensued Sullivan's allegation, with CNN reporting that Russian officials paid a visit to Iran to view its weapons-capable drones. Citing Sullivan, the American news channel said, a Russian delegation has visited an airfield in central Iran at least twice in the last month to examine weapons-capable drones.